it is day seven of this build. Uh, in case you're wondering, these days are not full days worth of work for the most part. Um, a lot of partial days, and so this is, like I said, this is my side project, so I'm filling in whenever I have time. And it's just sitting in my driveway so I can start and finish, start and stop kind of whenever is uh, convenient. So, but the goal for today is to get this heater installed through this roof. Now, I got a roof cap, it's a piece of flashing that's designed to go um, on the top of the roof underneath whatever layer of roofing you have. And my only dilemma is that this framing member right here is completely in the way. Like I want this stove pipe to go up like right about there. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of surgery on this frame and that should fix the problem. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it because uh, got a very little bit of uh, daylight left, only got a few hours left and I'm trying to get this thing installed before it gets dark. So let's go. Now this piece is held in with two nails that are end nailed into the end of this board. So all you do is bang it, bend it out, theoretically and uh, grind off the ends of the nails over there. So let's see. Yeah, pretty good. Just like that. Take this guy, put it in right there. In order to find out exactly where I'm going to want this hole to go through, I made this board. It's the distance from this edge to that edge is the distance that I want the center of the pipe to be from the back all over here. So I'm going to put this up. I'm going to line it up with my line that I made up here. That's in line with this line down here, which is where the pipe's going to go, going to go up vertically. And now I just make a pencil mark right there where it intersects the line and that's where I'm going to make a hole. Now I can measure from this point to there and get an idea of where I want that hole to start and at least I'll be close and then when I take off the metal on the outside I can drill a pilot hole and get an exact location. As it turns out this line right here is exactly in the center of this rib and this rib is exactly in the center of this piece of metal. I could not have planned that better. But so anyways, I'm going to drill a pilot hole and kind of come up right through here inside the middle of this rib. I'm going to take off this piece, make some marks on it and put it all back together. And hopefully by then it should be uh, should be good.
right, so there's the mark for my pilot hole. Let's see how far up the edge it's gonna go. It's about 10 and 7 eighths. Which is larger than my flashing piece is going to accommodate, so I'm gonna have to modify my plan on just a little bit. All right, I got my three pieces, and they're gonna go like this. Here's piece number one. Piece number two is gonna go on top of it like this. Is this guy? Right. This is gonna go back in place of where it was, and it's gonna be kind of like that. That's kind of the idea. The better way to do this is to get another one of these big panels cut one straight across all the way across and get another one slip it underneath and um do the same thing but instead of basically making like a shingle this goes right in the middle of it so i want to mark four inch diameter around this pilot hole that i made so i don't have a compass so i made one board screw pencil in a hole it fits just so and there you go and yeah that's pretty good and it works all right for the most part how's that for a circle i think that's pretty good now the proper tool to cut this with is a jigsaw, but I don't own a jigsaw, and I'm not about to go buy one because, yeah, don't need to. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, cut it with this, little bit by little bit. Here we go. Doesn't gotta be pretty, it's just gotta be gone. Okay, so I do want to be just a little bit prettier. Mostly because there's little like bits and pieces that are kind of hanging off in it. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> I think I'm also going to reinforce by putting a board across there just to give it some a little bit more structural stability. Okay. I got a piece on top of here. This is a three inch to four inch galvanized reducer. I'm using it as a storm collar, basically. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to cut off this straight section right here and slide it down a little bit more. And I'm gonna get another one of these things to go on the inside to connect with the three inch galvanized pipe they have on the inside. It's currently acting as a heat shield around this main stack. So this piece right here, this came with the stove, the camping stove. This is stainless steel. Um, and it's the chimney that came with, it's the chimney that came with the stove. But I'm going to, on the inside, what I'm gonna end up doing is I need to create heat shields in order to keep this pipe nice and thin. So you can kind of see here, I know it's really dark, but the this galvanized pipe here is acting as a heat shield from the heat that's coming off of this um, uh, pipe. What I'm actually gonna do is, so I'm going to cut this one really, really short and I'm gonna get another three to four inch reducer to go in through the inside and around this section down here, I'm gonna put in a four inch pipe rather than a three inch pipe because it's gonna give a little more airspace between this pipe and the galvanized pipe, which is gonna is basically acting as a heat shield. And then around that four inch pipe, uh, on the back side of it, I'm gonna put in another heat shield to protect against the back wall. Uh, just to guard the back wall against the extra heat that's gonna be coming off of this stove. Now this thing puts out a decent amount of heat. Um, I know that you know, galvanized pipe is really not a good um, 
material to use for a stovepipe. You should use the black stovepipe. Um, it's if you use the galvanized pipe, the the galvanic layer with the heat, it uh, messes it all up, uh, puts off all kinds of who knows what kind of gases. I'm not really sure. Uh, are they good for you? Uh, who knows? Are they bad for you? I don't know. Do I want to risk it? I really don't care. I mean, I, I really don't want to. Um, so I'd rather just not. Um, I have made a stove pipe out of galvanized pipe, and like when I turn it on, get the stove going. Even after like a dozen times of running the stove, it still smells horrendous. And so, uh, yeah, it probably isn't good. So, anyways, that's the uh, that's what I got going on with this thing. It's pumping out some heat now, and it's feeling good in here. Even though the door is absolutely wide open, and you got these big old gaps over there and there and there. Yeah, it's holes all over the place. But it feels nice to have some heat in here. And, yeah. It'll get a little bit warmer. Um, we'll say the thing I don't like about this stove, I'm probably going to end up getting something different um, by the time I'm done with this thing, is that this pipe you see here, all these lines here, where all the light's coming through. So this pipe, even though it is stainless steel, um, when you heat it up, it can corrode. And this thing gets quite hot. I've gotten this thing to the point where it's glowing red. Um, so it's definitely a, an issue. So, you know, this stove pipe is just not adequate to take the heat that this thing can put out. So, either I'm going to get a new new uh, a new stove pipe of some sort, or I'll I don't know, I'll figure something out. I might even just get a new stove altogether. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I can get replacement parts. And I know this also got wet when it was running really hot, and so that doesn't help. You know, say stainless steel doesn't corrode. Well, that's not actually true. If it gets really hot, it can corrode in high heat conditions. So. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy a little bit of fire here for a time, and that'll be it for me for the day. Water's not going to get in here anymore, so we're good. I will put a rain cap on the top of the pipe, way up at the top, so uh, eventually uh, we'll try to get that done at some point. But for now, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my fire.